Good morning, greetings friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any degenerative health issue. That's why we're here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you do that. 844-236-6010. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have questions about the longevity products or formulations or skin health questions, skin product ingredient questions, 844-236-6010 844-236-6010 is our number. Of course, if you have a success story you'd like to share, if you want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number, and we welcome your phone calls. Try to call in early so we can get to as many calls as possible at 844-236-6010. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program or recommended on the program, please head over to my website, brightsideben.com, also pharmacistben.com and criticalhealthnews.com. You can also uh, sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off the website as well. And uh, you can also call the phone team at 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. If you want to purchase any of our Truth Skin Health products, please go over to truthtreatments.com. Check out our Truth Retinol 5% Gel if you're dealing with acne blemishes or hyperpigmentation, dark spots, or if you have fine lines or wrinkles or you want to prevent any of these conditions, you want to use our Retinol 5% Gel. Retinol is a powerful, powerful ingredient. Most people can't use high concentrations of retinol. That's why we formulated our Retinol 5% gel. For most people, it'll be non-irritating, non-inflaming, although you will most certainly get a nice skin peel and some flaking from our Retinol 5% gel made with vitamin C. No preservatives, no fragrances, no oil, silicon, wax, emulsifier, water, no nothing that your skin doesn't need or doesn't want. That's my promise to you with all our Truth Skin Health products. Nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want. Just the good stuff, folks, because you shouldn't have to pay for stuff that your skin is not using. TruthTreatments.com. We also have a skin a skin health blog up at truthtreatments.com. Okay, so we were talking about phosphorus yesterday. I love the stuff. The light bearer, phosphorus. It's been a, been a subject of mystery and interest for chemists for centuries. The first phosphorus was actually, was actually obtained from urine. We lose lots of phosphorus in our urine, and that's the first place they found phosphorus, or they isolated phosphorus. Kind of an interesting... Uh, it was a, it, there's a sort of an interesting historical aspect to phosphorus and how it was first discovered. It was really uh, homeopathic chemists and uh, occultists were always fascinated by the idea that phosphorus could emit light. Phosphorus, the light bearer. It's one of the basic minerals that the body is composed of. The chenops elements, carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, phosphorus, and sulfur. It's a sparking substance. Works with oxygen. And it's very, very important for the electrical nature of the body in the form of what are called phospholipids, which are my all-time, one of my all-time favorite nutritional supplements, phospholipids. They're, they're inexpensive, they're multifunctional, and they're very effective for the digestive system. Of course, the major phospholipid is lecithin. Lecithin is basically synonymous with phospholipids. Lecithin contains, uh, contains an element of phosphorus attached to fat, the combination of Phosphorus and fat gives it some really interesting, interesting properties, especially for the digestive system. Lecithin is like, it's a major component of bile if you're dealing with a gallbladder problem or you're dealing with fat malabsorption issues or you just want to get more bang for your fat buck. 
you want to get more benefits from your fatty nutrients and the, your fatty foods, use them with lecithin. Take a teaspoonful or half a teaspoonful of lecithin in water, stir it up and drink it down. It, it makes your smoothies nice and creamy. If you're uh, making a protein smoothie, the combination of protein and water and lecithin creates a nice creamy concoction. In the natural world, lecithin is found pretty much everywhere. All cells and, and plants and animals make the stuff. It's found in the brain, it's found in the nervous system, it's found in the heart, it's found in the kidneys, it's found in all the glands of the body, especially the thyroid gland and the adrenal gland. The adrenal thyroid complex, which, which I, uh, forms the third point of what I call the triangle of disease, and lecithin is super easy to get. It can be found pretty much in any health food store. It's cheap. You can get it for maybe eight, nine bucks a pound. Most of it comes from soy. So if you're going to start to incorporate lecithin into your diet as a supplement, look for non-GMO lecithin, preferably organic lecithin. You can get it in granules. You can get it in capsules. There's so many benefits to using this stuff, it's hard to know where to begin. One of the most important roles, of course, for lecithin involves fats. Lecithin's electrical nature is a result of its very interesting structure, which is both water-soluble and fat-soluble. Lecithin has a water-soluble nature and a fat-soluble nature. It's, in chemistry, we say it's hydrophilic and lipophilic. Hydrophilic, water-loving, lipophilic, fat-loving. And lecithin is both hydrophilic and, and lipophilic. Chemists say it's amp call it amphiphilic, meaning it's both water-loving and fat-loving. And this is, this whole nature, this whole idea of the nature of watery chemicals and fatty chemicals, we talk about it a lot here on the, on the bright side, and it, it very well could be the most important distinction in all of biochemistry and all of nutrition, water solubility versus fat solubility. Water soluble substances carry electricity. Water soluble substances, when they're in water, are electrical. Electrolytes tend to be water soluble or are water soluble and fat soluble materials store electricity. So fatty materials have a storage capacity for electricity. Watery materials can conduct electricity and there's a very important relationship between the two, water soluble and fat soluble. And bringing the two together, it can be really, really helpful and really, really important. Your B vitamins are water soluble, potassium, calcium, magnesium, they're water soluble. And then your EFAs and fatty vitamins and the phytonutrients, plant nutrients, are also, are, uh, also fat soluble. Fat soluble stuff requires a little bit more work for the body to handle. And this is where emulsifiers come in. Lecithin is an emulsifier. Lecithin is a component of bile, which is the body's natural emulsifier. Bile, via its lecithin component, acts to turn fatty materials into watery materials. Fat-soluble, fat soluble lipophilic materials, your essential fatty acids and your vitamin E and D and A and K and beta carotene and all the carotenes, lutein, zeaxanthine, and uh, flavonoids. These all are very difficult or relatively difficult for the body to process, but by turning them into watery materials, bile makes them easy for the body to work with. It makes lipophilic substances hydrophilic so that they can now dissolve in water. And this process of, of turning fatty material into watery material is something we all experience every day when we wash our dishes. When you put soap on your, on your greasy, oily pots and pans and dishes, or on your clothes in, in, in terms of laundry detergent or anything else you want to clean, that's what cleaning is. Cleaning is actually taking fat-soluble material and making it water-soluble. Even something as mundane as washing your face is an example of emulsification. It's an example of making fatty material watery. Dirt tends to be fatty. And water tends to be watery, obviously. If you just put water on top of dirt, it's just gonna smear it around. You're not gonna get rid of the dirt on your face. But if you put an emulsifier in between the water from your tap and the dirt on your face, that emulsifier will pull the dirt into the water. It'll make the dirt water soluble and voila, it rinses right off. That's what soap is all about. Soap is the classic example of an emulsifier. It takes the oil-soluble dirt, which tends to be sticky and oily, turns it into water-soluble material so it flows right off when you, when you rinse it with water from your tap. Well, guess what? Bile does the same thing in the digestive system. It's your body's natural soap. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll continue when we come back from our break. 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll be back right after this. Thank you for listening to GCN. 
Be sure to visit GCNlive.com today. All right, we are back on the Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for joining us. We're on your Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time. If you miss a program, they're all archived at BenFuchsArchives.com, also BrightSideBen.com. And if you want to purchase any of our longevity products, please head over to BrightSideBen.com, PharmacistBen.com, or CriticalHealthNews.com. You can also sign up to join the BrightSideBen team right off the websites, or you can call the BrightSideBen phone team at... 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. If you're interested in purchasing any of our Truth Skin Health products, please head over to truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Take a specially long look at our retinol 5% gel, also Truth Serum, Truth Balm, and Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, all made with lots of premium lipophilic stable vitamin C, no preservatives, no fragrances, no fillers, no wax, no emulsifiers, no nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want. Truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, speaking of skin health, we're talking about bile and emulsification and lecithin. I love lecithin, man. Inexpensive, wonderful source of phospholipids for the digestive system, also for brain health, also for heart health, also for the health of the kidneys and the health of all the glands in the body. Lecithin is a, the quintessential natural emulsifying agent. You probably heard that term, emulsifying agent. Emulsifiers bring water and oil together. We participate in emulsion chemistry, emulsifier chemistry. Every time we wash our face or every time we wash dishes, emulsifying chemistry is about making fat-soluble material, which tends to be sticky, into water-soluble, uh, into water-soluble substances, which flow. Bile does the same thing in our digestive system. That's why bile is said to be the body's natural soap, the body's natural detergent. It has a cleansing activity. It's a cleanser. It it cleanses the food. It cleanses our food. It breaks up the oils in our food and the fats in our food and makes them more water-soluble. It makes the fats, which ordinarily would be difficult for the body to process, EFAs, fatty vitamins, uh, carotenes, flavonoids, phytonutrients, and makes them more watery, which is why you want to keep your gallbladder, because the gallbladder is a storage uh, a storage bag of bile. It's a bag of bile. Bladder is a, a term for a bag, and that's what the gallbladder is. It's a bag that, that concentrates and holds on to bile. Without a gallbladder, you're not going to be able to process fats as effectively. I know we say it probably once or twice a week on this program, but considering half a million gallbladders are removed every year, it's important to reinforce that, to keep saying that. Keep your gallbladder. Having stones is not a reason to take your gallbladder out unless you're in this emergency condition, of course, if you're in miserable pain, maybe. And that's unfortunate because for the rest of your life, you're not going to be able to process your fats as effectively. And don't pay any attention to any boneheaded medical professional that says you don't need a gallbladder. Yes, they say that. You don't need a gallbladder. I've heard doctors say that. You don't need a gallbladder. It's, it's bizarre. It's idiotic. And it's unfair. And really, the only, reason, the, only, the only reason we would ever pay attention to a medical professional who says you don't need your gallbladder is because we don't understand what the gallbladder is or what bile is about. Yes, without a gallbladder, it's true. You'll still have some bile activity. A trickle of it will come in through from your liver, but you're going to be majorly compromised. Bile is the body's natural soap, the body's natural detergent. And not only does it pro- help us process fats and vitamins and phytonutrients, it's also important for detoxification, as we've talked about in the past. And there's a very, very important relationship between bile and probiotics and gut bacteria. And gut bacteria turn bile into active hormones that feed the, or that um, activate intest- the intestine, that help sustain and, and, and turn on intestinal activity. So uh, this whole thing, bile and probiotics and the intestine and fats and fatty vitamins, it's all connected. And you can't just pull out parts and expect to maintain your health. So emulsification is the process of turning fats into water or into watery-like substances. And water and fats are the most fundamental or, well, probably the most fundamental distinction in all of nutrition and chemistry. And that makes emulsification probably the most important of all the chemical reactions in the body and in nutrition, or one of, we'll say, one of the most important chemical reactions in the body and in nutrition. And bile is how it's done. And the chemical that does it in bile is lecithin. Lecithin is the quintessential natural biochemical emulsifier. Lecithin is like an adapter. It has a female side and a male side. 
Just like a, if you have a cord and you want to pl- uh, with a male end and you want to plug it into a socket that has a female opening, you go to Radio Shack, you get an adapter that has one side that's male and another side is female, so you can modify your male plug so it'll fit into your female socket. Lecithin is like that. It's like an adapter. It, uh, it adapts. Uh, it's, it has one end that fits to water and one end that fits to fat. It brings the two together, just like an adapter brings two, two, uh, 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 two sides together on, in, on an electrical cord. It's a phospholipid. That's the technical term. One end is phosphorus. Phosphorus is water-soluble, and the other end is lipid. Lipid is fat-soluble. Because phosphorus is water-soluble, you basically have a chemical with one end fat and the other water. And this allows lecithin to bring, things, bring the two together. Lecithin is an emulsifying agent. And this is what accounts for its incredible, incredible value as a nutritional supplement. And also, by the way, lecithin is an important ingredient in skin care for this reason. I use lecithin all the time as an emulsifying agent. It's a gentle, natural emulsifying agent. Emulsions are the most common type of skin care, uh, skin care product. Creams and lotions are classic examples of emulsions. A cream, a creams and lotions are pretty much the same thing. A cream is, has less water. A cream is about 60% to 75% water. A lotion may be 80 to 90% water. That alone, by the way, tells you why skincare is such a huge business. Most products are anywhere from 65 to 90 percent water. That's a lot of. That's a. You're paying a lot of money for water with your skincare products. The rest of a skincare product is going to be made with fatty components, oil, wax, silicon, and they'll they'll typically make up five to 20 percent of your product. Sometimes they'll throw in a little glycerin or propylene glycol to create a little slick sensation. And if you have a real deluxe product, you maybe get 2% active ingredient or 3% active ingredient. If you buy truth products, you're going to get 80% active ingredient or 40% active ingredient or 30% active ingredient. You're going to get a lot of activity. But if you buy your typical standard salon product or department store product, you're lucky if you get 3% or 5% active ingredient. Most, Most skincare products, the cheapo ones, you're not even going to get that. Some skincare products don't have any active ingredients. It's all wax and oil and water and preservative and fragrance. So in any case, the main point is that all that water, 65% water, uh, up to 90% water, has to somehow blend with the oil and the silicon and the wax, which are of a completely different nature. They're lipophilic. They're fat-soluble. And somehow the water has to combine, and that's where the emulsifying agent comes in. If you look at your ingredient deck, and we should all be looking at ingredient decks. Whenever we're buying a skincare product, we want to, that's the way you tell how good a skincare product is. Well, the best way to tell how good your skincare product is is what it's doing to your skin. Is, does it change the quality of your skin? Not is your skin soft after you put the moisturizer on. That's just wax you're feeling and oil. But does your skin quality change over the course of days and weeks and months? That's how you assess the value of a skincare product. Does it create changes in your skin? Beneficial changes, smoother skin, softer skin, younger looking skin, less wrinkly skin, healthier skin, over the course of days and weeks and months. Of course, if you're making a buying decision, you don't have days and weeks and months. So the next best way is to look at the ingredient deck. And that's what you want to know. That's what you want to understand. It's the ingredients and the ingredient deck. All right. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll finish up when we come back from our break and take your phone calls. 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. Thank you for listening to GCN. Be sure to visit GCNlive.com today. Okay, we are back on the bright side. Thanks for joining us. 844-236-6010 is our number. 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products or formulations or ingredients or health issues that you or a loved one may be dealing with, we can help you. 844-236-6010 is our number. Of course, if you have a success story you'd like to share or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any any of our Truth Skin Health products, please head over to truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Take a look at our Retinol 5% Gel as well as our Truth Serum. If you want one product, if you're looking for one product off our... Uh, out of the four products, you want to go with the Truth Serum. It's made with nearly 80% vitamin C. That's a lot of vitamin C, folks. No preservatives, no fragrance, no filler. Put a little cholesterol in there, a couple anti-inflammatories, and that's pretty much it. Some fullerenes, 
which are really neat ingredient for helping deliver active materials into the skin. And that's pretty much it. It'll last you about three or four months if you use it as directed. It's great for shaving cuts, nicks. And that's another way you can tell how effective a skin health product is, is if it heals cuts and scrapes, or at least accelerates the healing of cuts and scrapes. That's how you know you have an effective skin health product. And I guarantee you, your salon cream and lotion isn't going to do that. If you want to purchase any of our Longevity products, the ones we recommend on the program or advertise on the program, you can head over to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. Okay, let's see. 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll continue talking about the emulsifiers. The emulsifying agent in skin products is the most problematic of all the ingredients. Perhaps the preservative and the fragrances are along, along with the emulsifiers are the most problematic of all skin, skin, uh, skin product ingredients. And that's why reading an ingredient deck is so important. Understanding how to read an ingredient deck and just reading the ingredient deck. And companies make it difficult sometimes. You shouldn't have a lot of ingredients in your ingredient deck. Five, six, ten ingredients max. You certainly don't want 40 or 50. And that's really, if, if you look at a lot of department store products, and department store products are the most egregious violators, you'll see 40, 50, 60 ingredients in a, in a skin health product. What is that about? It's certainly not about your skin. Anyway, we'll continue our discussion on skin and emulsifiers and lecithin and phospholipids. And the ketogenic diet, we'll talk about some nutrients that you should be using when you're on the ketogenic diet as we continue talking about the ketogenic diet and hormone health and the skin on the bright side. 844-236-6010 is our number. 844-236-6010. Time to hit the phones. Let's go off to, let's see here. Looks like I lost my, my little phone list. Uh Let's go to Mary in Oregon. Good morning, Mary. What's up? Welcome to the Bright Side. Uh, Mary. I have, I have three quick things. Okay. One, I wanted to uh, echo that woman thanking you about us taking baths. Um, my life has changed so much because anytime I'm feeling pain from my flat feet, I just jump in the bath. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing how easy it can be? Just a hot yeah. bath, right? Yeah. What, what does that tell you? It tells you we're made to be healthy. We're built to be healthy. Just something as simple as hot water can restore our, our parasympathetic, our relaxation nervous system to stress nervous system balance. Thank you for sharing that, Mary. And plus, you know what else, Mary? Not only did it help you with your pain, you actually fought cancer. You actually accelerated uh, or uh, uh, improved your longevity, and you diminished the risks of long-term degenerative diseases as you relax in a nice warm bath. Thank you, Mary. What's going on? How can we help you? Um, then uh, there's two more things, but they're quick. Um, th like I said, I'm quick today, but um, I was wondering how the f longer uh, time for callers on Fridays, is that still a possibility? Yeah, you know, we got mixed results on that. I, I asked folks for the listeners who don't, don't know. A couple weeks ago, somebody, we made a, I, I made a suggestion uh, I was going to have to have uh, more calls on Friday, and I got letters, and it was about 50-50. Some people said yes, more calls. Some people said no, not more calls. So I don't know what to do. I'm th I'm thinking I'm going to go with more calls. You can write me at Ben at KSCO.com if you want to if you want to help me make that decision. More calls on Friday. We'll have like Friday calls where we'll just do an hour of calls or maybe three segments of calls, or we just keep things the same. We just do half an hour of calls. So I'm still on the fence on that, Mary, to answer your question. And my uh, question today is. Um, what is that trade-off in, in the chemical reaction, or what is used up uh, to the, when I'm drinking green tea, the caffeine in the green tea? Caffeine amps your system up, and you'll burn through all your nutrients. You'll especially burn through a special substance in the body that we don't ever talk about, hardly ever talk about it on the program called ATP, which is your body's energy element. You'll burn through that pretty fast, so, which is why you crash after you get your initial high off of caffeine. But even more significantly, you burn through your B vitamins and your electrical nutrients. You burn through everything, but especially your electrical nutrients, which is why if you're going to do caffeine, you want to make sure you're drinking, uh, you're uh, sipping on your Beyond Tangy Tangerine along with it, and that way you'll replace your B vitamins and, and your electrolytes, which are not only burnt up as your body is amped up, as you're, as you're firing on all cylinders, but also you're urinating more, so you're you're peeing out your B vitamins and, and electrolytes. So uh, you want to replace your Bs and your electrolytes and, uh, 
and try to minimize the amount of caffeine you do. I, you know, caffeine has some benefits, certainly. It'll keep you perked up, but it, you will run through, you will burn through nutrients and you'll also lose some in your urine. So it's important you replace them. If you're going to drink caffeine and green tea, you know, you can always add some BTT to your green tea. Have you ever done that? Put some Beyond Tangy Tangerine in your green tea? It actually tastes, it, it, yeah. ta- it makes the taste pretty good and you'll get some extra Bs and some extra, extra electrolytes. Um, but basically, you're you're turning on the you're, you're amping up your body's energy. You're you're turning on the engine, so you're burning through gasoline, and the gasoline is the vitamins, the B vitamins, vitamin C, and the electrolytes. So you're going to need to replace those more frequently. Did I answer your question? Yes, I did. Thank you very much. Okay, good deal. Thanks, Mary. Have a beautiful day. All right, so let's go to Grace in Miami Beach. What's up, Grace? How you doing? Yes, um, good, good morning. I'm well. How are you? Good morning. Thank you for asking. I'm doing great. What's cooking today? Um, uh, one comment on your Truth um, products, the yes. retinol. I bought it back in June. I bought all your products back in June of last year. Okay. And the retinol, using it every other day, the retinol has lasted me. I have like just less than half. So if anybody's six on the months. fence about it, it lasts long. Yes. That's amazing. So you're using more it every other day, months. Grace? You're using it every other day? Every other day. You yes. know, that's miraculous. That's 5% yes. retinol you're using every other day. Now, you get flaking? Yes. You get still get flaking? Um, um, once in a while. Once in a while. Not, not often, but um, I see the difference, of course. It, nice. It, it's a really nice product, and um, I use it. I also use it. I, had, I, I, really, I got a scar on my leg. I, I bumped into something really badly, and I've been using all of them, and the scar is, um, is lightening up pretty quickly. I'm pretty nice. surprised. So I, nice. I even use the retinol on it. So you can use the retinol. That. That's right. I was going to yeah. tell you, the retinol will help lighten the scar. You don't want to put it right on the, you know, when the skin is bruised the cut, or the right. skin is open, cut, right? But, but uh, as it's healing, the retinol will speed up the, uh, will, re- remove, will uh, reduce the risk of hyperpigmentation and speed up the healing. Yes, I'm, I'm noticing that. So that, Good that's deal. Great. Thanks, Grace. I appreciate no, that. You're welcome. I know. What's thank going? you. But um, my question is, um, when I try to fast, I, I've done it before, but like these, most recently, I, I fast, I noticed that like in the 20th hour of the fast, I start getting a headache. And if mm. I don't, and then when I go in, like if I do the whole 24 fast okay. and then I eat something, the is headache brutal? doesn't go away. Okay. No, it's not brutal, but it's just very uncomfortable. It, okay, two things. If you can get... Well, hang on. Let, we'll, okay. we'll answer when we come back from our break, okay? Thank you. Thank you, Grace. Okay, 844-236-6010 is our number. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll take a break and come back with your phone calls right after this. We're back on the bright side. 844-236-6010 is our number. We're talking to Grace in Miami Beach. You there, Grace? I am. Grace. Okay, so a couple things uh, when you have, and it's not uncommon, by the way, fasting headaches are not uncommon. A couple of things. If you can get over the hump, the fasting, the headaches might go away as your ketones build up. You might not be building ketones up fast enough. Uh, and, and you're going into low blood sugar, and you don't have enough energy, and that'll cause some headaches. So if you can get it over the hump, you know, maybe the headache will go away as the ketones build up. Ketones can help fuel the brain. Uh, so you might, you might be able to, uh, the headaches might resolve themselves if you can get over the hump. If not, a couple of things that you can do. One is to make sure you're practicing your slow, deep breathing, focusing on the exhale. Uh, not as much the inhale, and this I know I've said this a lot, but when you're doing your breathing to relax the body, it's the exhale where you actually get the relaxation effect. So you want to inhale, a, a sh- uh, you want to exhale longer than you inhale, and you want to make sure you're doing it slowly. This will allow carbon dioxide, which is extremely important, uh, to kind of bu- uh, build up in the in the bloodstream. Um, and carbon dioxide is actually what allows the oxygen to get delivered to the blood cells. Headaches are a sign that you're not getting oxygenated. Your brain's not getting oxygenated. Oh. So slow, deep breathing, focusing on the exhale. And always use your nose. No, breathe through the nose, eat through the mouth. Do not breathe through the mouth. And then lastly, uh, or not lastly, the second thing you might want to do is drink water. Sometimes dehydration can cause headaches. 
If you're, not, if you're fasting, you're not drinking enough water, that might help you. And then lastly, a tiny little bit of coconut oil or lemon juice, something to help stabilize your blood sugar might help, or some Swero V even, that might help you as well. So make sure, you're, four things, make sure, you, or at least try to get over the hump and allow the ketones to build up so you deal with the headache and then the headache will go away. Uh, second thing, make sure you're breathing correctly, focusing on the exhale, exhaling slowly to allow carbon dioxide to build up in the blood. And then... Uh, and then drinking water in case you're dehydrated. And then last but not least, a little lemon juice or maybe a touch of coconut oil or even the Swero V. And that will help stabilize your blood glucose. Is that okay? Would a, would a yeah. glutamine capsule, would that no, work? That, no? That, that, wouldn't, that wouldn't necessarily help you. You could try it. You know, okay. glutamine is interesting because that can mm-hmm. actually be a source of fuel for the intestines. But, uh, mm-hmm. I, you know, you could try it. That wouldn't be the first thing I would think about. You try it. Let me know. Let us know how that okay. works. Okay, okay, thanks perfect. so much, Grace. Right, thank you so much. Have Take a care. beautiful Great day. B- bye bye. Okay, Andre in California, what's up? Welcome to the bright side. Hey, good morning, Ben. How are you? Good morning, my friend. Doing good. Hope you are as well. Hey. Yes, thank you. I talked to you a few weeks ago about Graves' disease. Yes. Uh, because that's what I said I had, but I went and uh, did an MRI, and it seems like I have a brain tumor. It seems to worry about it. just a small, small piece of. And it, but it's wrapped around my nerve, my optic nerve. I guess that's why my vision is affected. Oh my and, goodness! And the way, yeah. So what? What do you suggest? I mean, I know my doctor says either radiation or surgery. Well, I can't. Sp- I can't see. I had to see the significance of the tumor. But basically, is it? It's benign. It's a benign tumor. I'm assuming. So basically, yeah, it's about two, two centimeter by by five. I guess. You know, two if it's wrapped wide. around, if it's if it's wrapped around the nerve, they don't want to take it out. Is it too? They can't take it out surgically. Well, they can, but he's saying that maybe uh, because it's uh, one of the ends is wrapped around the nerve, so that you know, part he might not be able to take it off. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's a tricky that area. Nerve. That's just a tricky yeah. area to do surgery in. You know, I would tell you with typically with growths and tumors, there's the nutritional strategies involved: keeping your blood sugar down, make sure making sure you're oxygenating, and then pounding the nutrition, especially intravenous nutrition. But seeing as how it's wrapped around the optic nerve like that, and it's in the brain. And it's so delicate. In a chemotherapy and radiation, they're pretty much. I, I would, if it was me, that's what I. That's the way I would be going. Um, due to the location. Well, Here's the thing, though. If you are going to do the chemotherapy or the radiation, it becomes extra important that you take care of your nutrition to help your body heal, and so that you don't have to deal with the massive side effects that both of those things can can be associated with, both radiation and chemotherapy. I'm sorry. What were you going to say? Yeah, that's what I was worried about, uh, chemotherapy and radiation. I'm worried about side effects. Uh, yes, that's, that's why, why the nutrition. Surgery would be, okay, you don't think surgery would be better? Uh, I think it depends on how, the, you know, how close it is to the optic nerve and to the various structures in the brain. You know, that's a delicate procedure if you're doing surgery, and you've got to be super, super careful, obviously. So that's going to be a decision you have to make. But what I can tell you is that if you do opt for surgery or you opt for radiation or chemo, whatever you do, it becomes extra, extra, extra extra important that you pay a close attention to your food and your nutrition, your uh, relaxation techniques, all the things we talk about in this program, lowering your, lowering your blood sugar, more protein. That's, that's really where nutrition is going to come in for you is to help you recover and to help minimize the, uh, the inevitable side effects that will happen with radiation and chemotherapy. Uh, I would be doing intravenous nutrition if I were you, intravenous vitamin C, intravenous glutathione, okay. intravenous selenium, pounding the beyond tangy tangerine making sure you're getting your fats, especially vitamin E, which is very important for brain health. All of these will mitigate and soften the blow from the therapy. And it may be that you need chemo and radiation. I can't tell you that just by, you know, just by talking to you on the radio. So uh, God bless you, my friend. I have another question real quick. I have another question real quick. How can I become a distributor of uh, the product underneath your sponsorship? Easy, easy peasy. Why don't you do this, Andre? We should have a discussion anyway, you and I. Send me an email, yeah. ben at okay. ksco.com. Put your phone number in there. Give me a couple days, and I'll call you. We'll have a discussion, okay? K-S-C-O? K for King, S for Sam, C for Cat, yeah. O for Oscar. Okay. Okay, ben buddy. Thank, Thank you so you. much, Ben. Have Take, a good weekend. A good God week, bless sir. you, my friend. Good luck, Andre. Okay. Okay, let's go to Diane in Miami. Got a couple calls from Miami today. What's up, Diane? How you doing? Yes, I have two things. Um, I learned from that first half hour of yours. So I would hate to see you do away with it. I mean, I okay. you have so much information that, I mean, according 
the callers I run, but that information is, oh my God, it's amazing. Oh, and thank also, you. I appreciate it. It's not, TM, it's not too much, inf it's not too overwhelming then. Because sometimes people no, tell me, oh I, my God, I can't get enough of it. You know, okay, I even read, you know, listen to our signs. Um, also, I uh, got three of your um, truth, truth treatments, okay? And I've been using those. I, I think it's been a couple of weeks. The time has flown. But my daughter said, Mom, are you using that stuff from Ben? And I said, yeah, why? Oh, my God. She said, it's amazing. That, that's awesome. Thank your you. your wrinkles are going away. And I'm 73. And oh, that's so, awesome. That's awesome. What yeah, are you using? I, Which ones are you using, Diane? I'm using the, uh, the gel. I'm using, in fact, I even have some. Uh, some palms here, um, truth palm. The truth palm. Um, and, yeah, and you know what? It may cost a few bucks, you know, but to me, it's worth it. I use it um, all the time. I don't, oh. I don't skimp on it, you know? Thank to you. To me, it's like when you, uh, you know, when you um, find something good, to me, it's like use it, you know? You deserve so, it. Uh, you deserve it, don't you? I mean, come on. And, I agree. And and how long does it last you anyway? They last you like a month, two months, right? Oh, if, yeah. And if it lasts less than that, it's worth it, you know? I mean, I just, I just love it. And when my daughter noticed this, it was like, and I, I've been trying to get her on it. She's using it, but she has sensitive skin, so the, uh, the retina gel is she kind of made. Go yeah, ahead. it made that uh, stuff on her face, like, um, little um, lashes on her face. But I said to her, that's because it's working, you know? Right. Uh, the, have her use, one of the neat things about the Omega-6 healing cream is it works in conjunction with the retinol. The retinol and the Omega-6 healing cream work together. So if you do get, if, most people won't get irritated. Every once in a while, some people, if they have sensitive skin, they'll have a little irritation. Uh, use the mm -hmm. Omega-6 healing cream afterwards. Retinol 5% is powerful stuff. It ain't for the timid, yeah. that's for sure. But on the other hand, we were just talking to Grace, and she's using it every other day. So it all kind of depends on how, on your skin. But I didn't want to, like, you don't want to skimp with, like you just said, why skimp? I didn't want to skimp on right. the ingredients, and I didn't want to skimp on, on the activity of the product. I, that's why I made the product so active. I figured you can use it less, and I'll make the products more active, and then you get, get your money's worth. Thank you so much for yeah. sharing that, Diane. I appreciate I, it. I agree. Thank you. Okay, take care. Have a beautiful day. Okay, let's uh, see if we get one more call in. Kelly in Minneapolis, what's going on? Welcome to the Bright Side. Hi, good morning. Good morning. How you doing? Good, how are you? I'm doing good. Thank you for calling. What's up? How can we help you? Yeah, thank you. So I have a teenage boy. He's 13, and he has, is having some issues with acne and dandruff, and I'm wondering what I can okay, do. Okay, a couple things. Now, it's a little bit more. We only have about a minute, so I'm just going to give you a couple things that you do right away, and you'll notice a difference. Zinc, 50 milligrams a day. Uh, zinc picolinate, P-I-C-O-L-I-N-A-T-E. Second, vitamin A, 20,000 international units a day. Third, NAC, or NAC, uh, 500 milligrams a day. Fourth, make sure you're paying attention to blood sugar spiking foods and eliminating them as best as possible. Five, stay away from anything that causes digestive health issues, including milk, dairy, and uh, gluten. And there's tons more, Kelly, but I'm just flat out out of time. But if you do those, you should notice a difference. Last thing, you might want to try some selenium, 400 micrograms a day. Hey, that's all the time we have for today. I apologize, folks, if I left you on hold. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Have an awesome, beautiful, spectacular, wonderful day. We'll talk to you all later, folks. Bye for now. <laughs>